Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this little New York Central 060 steam locomotive. And it has a very unique looking tender here that slants down. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get right into the build here. So we're going to start off on the front end on the bottom. And we're going to take polished blackstone stairs. And we're going to put two stairs on each side facing forward. And in the center, two sideways dark oak fence gates like this. Then on top of it, we're going to put two polished blackstone walls on either side. And a polished blackstone block in the middle. Then turn around and get a dark oak stair on top of this fence gate for the front coupler. Then, on each top corner, we're going to put a wither skeleton skull. And then we're going to crouch. And right here, we're going to put three chains across here. Then we're going to come behind this, coming off this top middle block, and we're going to do a row of polished blackstone right down the top middle, and we're going to make that another 16 blocks long behind that. So a total of 17 and 16 blocks behind the walls. Then two slabs here, and two slabs up in this corner. Then right here, we're going to put three dark oak trap doors on the second block back, and a fence gate on either side. Now leave two empty blocks and on the third block out put two polished blackstone walls on either side like this on the second and third layer. Then a 2 by 2 of black concrete on either side for the pistons here. On the front of each piston we're going to put two skeleton skulls and same thing on this side. Then we're going to do our driving wheels and for that we're going to use deep slate tile stairs and we're going to come one block behind the piston on here, put a stair going this way, skip one another, skip one another. Then turn around and put a backward stair on the back of all three. Then come underneath with upside down stairs, and we're just going to round all three of these off. So they're two by two plus shapes of stairs each, and there's three wheels, like that. And then we're just going to copy that exactly on the other side. That same way with deep slate tile stairs, so that we get three two by two plus shapes of stairs for the driving wheels on this side here. Just like that. And then we'll do all our driving rods. So we're going to come up off the bottom of the piston here, do a birch fence gate and a birch fence. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, a birch fence gate here and then a fence. Then on top of this, we're going to put two smooth stone slabs, then move one hitbox down, two more. One hitbox down and two more. Then under this, we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put four iron trap doors in a line right here. Then we'll take a skeleton skull and put one here, one here, and here. Then we'll repeat that on this other side. So come over here with smooth stone slabs, put two up here, move down a hitbox two, down a hitbox and two. Then crouch, and under here, we're gonna put four iron trap doors. And then take a skeleton skull, and put one here, here, and here. Now we're gonna come behind the driving wheel, and we're gonna put an upside down black stone brick stair facing forward here, and one on this side. Then behind the stair, two black stone brick blocks, then two black stone brick slabs on either side on the top. Then on this back middle, a dark oak slab. Then come under here, and right here, two rows of three black stone brick slabs across the bottom. Then on the bottom middle, we're going to put three fence gates here. Then we're going to come on top of the back here, and we're going to take out netherite blocks. And start on this back, and we're going to do a three by four. On the side of it, four black concrete up here four on this side. Then we're going to put one in all four corners and two smooth quartz blocks on the middle of each side. Then come down here and we're going to put two polished deep slate walls underneath here in the middle. And same thing on this side, two walls in the middle down here. Then come on top of the front, put an inward facing black stone brick stair on either side and on the back a polished black stone wall on each side. Then close the dark oak trap door here and here. Then on the top of the side, four polished black stone stairs facing outward up here, and four on this side. Then we'll do five upside down stairs across the top of the back. 
then we'll take polished blackstone block and we're just gonna ring this in and on the middle two we're gonna put two oak trapdoors then we'll come to the front here behind these trapdoors two three polished blackstone two upside down polished blackstone stairs here and two here then on top of this we'll do a three by three of polished blackstone block up here in the middle then three on the top middle then three polished blackstone stairs here and three here then across this bottom middle we'll do a line of black concrete on the side of it a full row of upside down blackstone brick stairs facing outward and a full row on this side then we're going to come down the side right here with a line of black concrete covering all these black stone brick stairs on each side then we'll do a line of black concrete down this top middle so you get here and then a full row of black stone brick stairs right here facing outward and a full row of black stone brick stairs right here facing outward then come up front and we're going to put a dark oak button on the left a dark oak sign in the middle with our number which will be 6984 hit it with yellow dye and a glowing sack then a fence gate on the right and open a fence gate on the top middle then we need to come up on top and crouch and get a sideways grindstone on top of this open fence gate for our headlight then come up here and crouch and on the front of this grindstone we're going to put a glow item frame with a frog light then we'll do the top details so we're going to come up behind this headlight and put a backward facing dragon head then a column of two polished blackstone blocks here then skip two and do a chisel polished blackstone skip one and another put a blackstone button on top of each of these four yellow candles behind this then behind that we're going to put a bell and then we're actually going to change these two stairs to black concrete and these two stairs to black concrete. On top, two rows of three black stone brick slabs up here. Then we're gonna come down in this corner here and take out dark oak fence gates. And we're gonna put three here. Then up here, one hitbox up, three polished black stone slabs. Then right here, we're gonna do a row of five dark oak trap doors. And we'll also put three on top of these fence gates back here. Then we will repeat on the other side. So come in this corner, and we'll do three fence gates with three trap doors on top. Then right here, three polished black stone slabs, and then five trap doors coming forward. Then we're gonna take out a lightning rod, and we're gonna come off this corner of the cap here, and we're gonna do a full row of sideways lightning rods coming forward until you're aligned with the front right here. And then same thing on this side, do a full row of sideways lightning rods coming up across this then we're gonna come back here and come inside the cab and do the interior so come up in here this bottom one in this hole we're gonna change to nether brick and light it on fire close the trap door on the front of it then a lever here a lever here and a lever here then we're gonna put two item frames with compasses like this and then open a birch fence gate here turn around and we're gonna put a stair here and here for seats and then we'll come out back here and across the top of this netherite we're gonna put three dark oak trap doors right here now we're gonna do the tender so we're gonna come on bottom behind this and we're gonna skip one block back from this dark oak slab and we're gonna put another wheel on each rail one block back here then two rows of three deep slate brick slabs and then another set of netherite wheels on each rail. Put a wither skeleton skull on all four wheels, and then two fence gates on each side of this truck. Then we're gonna skip two blocks back, so there's two gaps of space, and on the third block back, we're gonna build that same thing. So we need a set of netherite wheels, two rows of three, deep slate brick slabs, and another set of netherite wheels. And then same thing, two fence gates on either side, and a wither skeleton skull on all four wheels. Then we're gonna take out an end rod and put an end rod axle on all four sets of wheels here. Then we're gonna come off this slab and do a line of polished black stone right down the middle on top and come out one block past these wheels. 
Then on the back here, we're gonna get a dark oak stair on the second layer like this, and then put two dark oak vents gates underneath. Then we're gonna come on this front corner and put one polished black stone slab on the corner here, and one on this corner. Then a vents gate here and here. Behind it on this upper hitbox, we're gonna go two wide of polished black stone slabs, and we're gonna bring both those rows of slabs all the way to the back polished black stone block here. And then a vent skate on this corner, and then repeat on this side. So two rows of slabs out here. And bring that all the way across here. And a vent skate on this back corner. Next, we're gonna take out black concrete here, and we're gonna come on the front of this and put three on this top middle here, and then a dark oak vent skate on either side. Then behind that, we're gonna go five wide of black concrete, and then one block before the end here, five wide of black concrete. Then fill the whole side with a row of black concrete here, and same thing over here. Then we're gonna come one block on top of the back here, one block in, and we're gonna put two rows of five polished black stone slabs. Then in front of that, two rows of five black concrete. Then on top of the front of this, five slabs here. Then we're gonna come up here with black concrete, in by one right here, and then a deep slate block in the middle, two black concrete here, and then across this side. Then we're gonna take out polished black stone stairs now, and up here right in front of these slabs, five backward facing stairs coming across. Then come around the corner, and do three, and around the corner here, come back across the front right here, and then two outward here. On the front of this, we're gonna put five dark oak trap doors up here. Then come down here, and we're gonna close a trap door here and here. Then we're gonna come on top of the back of this tender in the middle. Then we're gonna put five trap doors here, and on the middle here, a grindstone. Then crouch and put a glow item frame with a frog light on the grindstone. Then on each corner, we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull here and here. Then we're gonna come on this side here, and we're gonna put two fence gates here, and one here, and one up right here, because there's a railing on one side only. Then we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna change this to a ch chiseled polished black stone block with a trap door on it. And then, three polished deep slate walls in the middle here. Then we need to make a banner, so come into a loom, black banner, white die, put a horizontal on top. This will represent the lettering on the tender, so we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna put a row of five banners right here. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, five banners right here. Then we're gonna take out cobwebs, and we're gonna come up on this smokestack, however you want the smoke to look. And we're just gonna do some lines coming up and back diagonally until you have the smoke looking how you want it. So it looks like that. And then one last detail here, we're gonna go back to our deep slate block and we'll come on top of this tender. And we're gonna fill this hole in up here with deep slate to represent the coal. And there we have it, folks. We finally completed our little New York Central 060 switcher locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.